Hey guys, it's Alex from AlexPierceProductions.com. Today I'm going to show you how to stitch Gear 360 footage and AutoPano Video Pro using a template that I've created. So the first thing to do is to download the template that I provided. It's in the description box below. Then what you want to do is whenever you have your footage here, whatever your 360 video is, make a folder for it. Let me make sure this is the one I want to use. Yeah, we'll use this one. So make a folder. For this one I just made, I just copied the file name and then put AVP test. But you want to label this how, however your labeling system works. Then duplicate the file. So these are the exact same files. I've already done it to save time here. And then all you have to do is drag them in. You don't have to sync because again they're the exact same file. Go to Stitch, Template Panor Stitches Template Panorama, select uh, the template that I provided, and voila, you're done. I basically to make this, what I did was I created a lens profile for the Gear 360, then I made the template. So that's what separates this from doing it manually. Is if you do it manually, you the program is just guessing the lens distortion and that's why the it does a much better job at least for the lens distortion you can see right here there's a there's some issue but again this is the same problem you have if you use gear 360 stitching software and it's because of the vignetting of the lens because the or chromatic aberration sometimes uh, so this can actually be fixed in AVP unlike in uh, the gear 360 software because it's usually uh, color differences, exposure or color difference, um, and that didn't do like the best of jobs. But you can do, you can um, go into Giga and change that. Uh, I'm just going to push Command Z. But basically, now you have all the tools that you would normally use in AVP. Um, so for instance the main thing that I find beneficial is stabilization I think being able to use stabilization with the gear 360 is great because without it any movement at all is pretty bad so I'm trying to find a section in here where I move the camera I know I do it let's see yeah here we go so I'm just gonna do a small section we'll do from here to there we're gonna do full stabilization and if you use stabilization, you can't use smart cutting. So I'm going to switch to smart cutting. I'll zoom in here. I'll zoom in some more. So now, especially if we look at this part here, if I push play. You can see the, the stabilization working here. And it's sort of, the stabilization is more or less like auto gyroscope than, than stabilization. So if we look at that without stabilization, uh, we can do that just by switching back to smart cutting. That will turn off the stabilization basically. If we look at that same selection that we just watched, you can see how it's it would feel like someone's jerking your head over if you were watching this in a headset. So uh, that's the basic overview of how to stitch Gear 360 footage in AVP. If this template doesn't work for you, it could be that your camera is slightly different. I imagine that every Gear 360 camera is a little bit different than the than the other. So if it doesn't work, let me know, and maybe I can provide a lens, a custom lens preset for you, uh, or a custom template as well. But this should work. This should work for pretty much any Gear VR, or excuse me, any Gear 360 camera. All right. Thanks for watching. This is Alex Pierce from AlexPierceProductions.com. Subscribe. Let me know in the comments if this was helpful. If you need, any, if you have any questions about this or anything I'm doing, and yeah, we'll talk to you next time.